Zero is just zero point zero. That's code for patient zero. It was the first child of Genomex. A man called Gabriel Ashlock. It's potentially the most powerful new mutant alive. That Gabriel ability to drain one's energy, memories, and power with a touch has been an asset, as well as a liability. The attacker was capable of studying, then duplicating, the powers and abilities of its opponents. Arrow called in reinforcements, which nearly proved disastrous, as our foe gained more and more power with each new combatant. Whoa. One guy with the powers of the entire League? In the end, it took eight Leaguers four hours to defeat and dismantle the android. Gabriel Ashlock, patient zero, first child of Genome X. Mr. Ashlock's new mutant abilities were in a constant state of flux from birth. That was. And Gabriel was born without a conscience, and he considers himself a god. He's a sociopath. That's why he was pardoned, for his own good and the rest of the world. Catastrophe is inevitable. All systems break down. We will be free and soon. I take it this is the official invitation to join you, the Black King. Your work on this operation has proven to be surprisingly invaluable. They have all witnessed the blur. Pieces of his identity have been lost within their minds. They simply need to be... <laughs> You're extracting their memories with this whole Jedi mind control thing. of interrogation skills. Listen, Mr. Lord, I am no friend of the Blur, but why are you after him? You are aware, Sax, that metahumans exist on the planet. I assume this checkmate agency wants to use them to protect and serve. That's the White Queen's plan. Waller barks orders from behind a desk. I work in the real world, a world that needs the rule of law. Anything outside the natural order is unpredictable. Now correct me if I'm wrong, you have powers, you're one of them. Which is exactly why I know how dangerous they can be and why I plan on eliminating them. With Dr. Breedlove's death, I have set in motion several sweeping changes in our operation, starting with an expanded budget that will affect all departments. We have operated under covert conditions since the inception of this project. That need for secrecy has been brought home by this brutal murder. It's a heinous crime that was committed by a product of the program who somehow managed to break into our archive section and burn that historical landmark to the ground in the process. Genomex will not be cowed, corrupted, or co-opted by these creatures. Instead, I have been mandated to create the Genetic Security Agency to protect the world from this rapacious menace. While our pure research continues, this covert force will take these anomalies into custody under a cloak of absolute secrecy. I know I can count on you all to do your best in this time of transition. Thank you.
And that went well, don't you think? Well, they seem happy. Don't get carried away, Mr. Thorne. We're all just easily bought by flattery and bigger paychecks. Well, let's start performing the job that we were born to do, shall we? Indeed. 